Welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity reports where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. Uh, as we head into the second half of 2022, rapidly surging global inflation, rate hikes and recession risk, they are now emerging as the three biggest and most explosive macro themes driving the financial markets. Throughout this month's reports, we routinely highlighted the commodity markets. They will move in a very predictable sideways trend, presenting savvy traders with an endless flow of profitable trading opportunities to capitalize on that week to week volatility. Once again, everything we identified with you has played out as predicted. Historically, the summer months, they have always been considered to be one of the most lucrative periods of the year for commodity traders. And considering the current macro backdrop, this year should be no exception. There's no denial that the previous quarter was monumental for monetary policy as central bankers across the world they ramped up their fight against rapidly surging inflation whilst also acknowledging that inflationary pressures they could persist for years driven in part by the war in Ukraine worsening supply chain disruptions and effects of COVID related shutdowns in China once again in the third quarter of 2022 global monetary policy that continues to be a dominant force driving market sentiment almost on a daily basis and that narrative that shows no signs of slowing anytime soon data released last week that shows consumer price inflation in the US that surged to a new four decade high of 9.1 percent in June that's the largest annual increase since November of 1981 and a significant jump over economist estimate for an 8.8 percent increase that data will enviably spur the Federal Reserve's effort to restore price stability, which intensified last month after officials they abandoned previously laid plans to deliver half a point interest rate hike and instead they implemented the first 75 basis point increase since 1994. In the lead up to last week's inflation data release, traders were already pricing in another 75 basis point rate hike at the Fed's upcoming July policy meeting. However, last week's reading that has completely changed everything. That's intensifying pressure on the Fed to respond with a historic supersized 100 basis point rate hike this month. Those odds have hardened after a long list of Wall Street banks. They've increased their rate hike expectations, signaling a larger move was now in play. Goldman Sachs and Numora, they both shifted their forecast to a 100 basis point rate hike from a 75 basis points previously. JP Morgan, Wells Fargo and Bank of America, they also modified their calls to a 100 basis point hike this week. Elsewhere last week, the Bank of Canada, they have surprised the market with a full percentage point rate hike amid fears that four decade high inflation is becoming entrenched. In total, more than 60 central banks faced with unprecedented inflation, they've now joined the global race to rate hikes aggressively at any cost necessary. This in return has increased the odds of a recession to 85% with economists warning that such a fast pace of large increases that could push the global economy into a recession and a handful of economists predict significant risk of a recession starting this year, whilst others see it starting by early next year. Historically, 11 of the last 14 major central bank rate hike cycles since World War II they have been followed by a recession within the next 12 months. Will that be the same again this time round? Only time will tell. However, one thing we do know for certain is that both scenarios, whether that's the persistent inflation or recession, ultimately present an extremely lucrative backdrop for commodity prices. It goes without saying that this is a trader's market right now with endless opportunities to capitalize on the short term macro driven volatility. And that's the most optimal strategy to focus on these exciting and fast moving markets right now so with that let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we look at here as we go into next week so first of all moving over to crude oil we in fact banked on Friday three positions on crude oil for over 400 points profit taking advantage of the volatility that we saw last week with both Brent crude oil and WTI crude oil prices dropping back below 100 US dollars per barrel and very quickly recovering on the Thursday through to Friday giving a nice slingshot move higher in order to profit very quickly by snipering in nice and low and then capitalizing on that rebound in price that we had from Thursday through to Friday here so you can see that crude oil is currently currently trading below $100 per barrel. 
as we go into next week, I would look at zones where I retest back down towards 95 US dollars per barrel or lower as areas of interest here for oil going into next week, specifically for WTI crude oil. If we were to retest the swing lows that were tested last week, even dropping back down towards that 91, 92 level, I would be very interested in this zone to potentially accumulate further positions on further confirmation as we go into next week. I would also keep a very close eye on Brent crude oil. Going into next week, we have two positions on Brent, which are both protected which have moved nicely into profit into Friday's close. On Brent crude oil, I'm essentially looking to capitalize on higher prices above $100 per barrel, but definitely I wouldn't rule out adding further trades if we were to get a revisit back down towards that $95 US dollar per barrel handle as we go into next week. Another market which I would suggest having on the radar going to next week is copper, which is starting to show signs of reversal into Friday's close up half percent on Friday. Now, copper prices, they're extremely oversold at the moment. Overall fear and greed in this market market is at extreme fear levels the lowest since 2019 in fact we are starting to see this market catch a bid but again you need to be very on top of the narratives currently in China with the new COVID cases and the new restrictions that we are seeing get put in place but it is a market to keep on the radar right now if we do start to get a breakout above the previous highs here from Thursday Friday and also Wednesday of last week you might quickly see this market get a bid one to have on the radar certainly over the next couple of weeks moving over to silver prices that so they also moved up one into the close on Friday. We've also seen platinum prices recover on Friday as well, up 0.78% on the day. And you've got three taps into liquidity here as well on platinum, very much like we're seeing also on gold at the moment around the 1700 level here too. So essentially 1700 or lower is providing a lot of liquidity for gold right now. These are again areas of interest. If we move it over to silver here, silver back down towards $18 per ounce, very much areas of interest as well. Key areas of liquidity poised at that zone particularly around the 1797 level below as well. Although we may not see silver have to go back down to revisit those lows. But if it did, if it got back down towards $18 per ounce, very much interested in this market as well. Moving over to platinum too. So we discussed platinum a lot with you throughout the last month. We've finally seen that breakdown all the way back down towards $800 US dollars per ounce. Again, we're getting very sticky around that level. If platinum can now get a break back above the 840 zone, close above that zone, start building up momentum, we could easily come back and retest $800. 185 US dollars per ounce, which was tested on Friday's non-farm payroll data just over a week ago here. But very much going into next week, I'm keeping a close eye here on oil. Any major pullbacks here, certainly if we come back down towards the swing lows here of around 95 down to $90 per barrel on crude oil would definitely be of interest. And again, on Brent crude oil here as well, if we were to drop back below $100 per barrel or lower, I would be looking at confirmation to add to our overall position on this market. Crude oil has been extremely lucrative market to trade over the course of 2022 i'd certainly keep an eye on this market as well as we head into next week we're seeing one of the greatest wealth transfers ever in history in this new era of economic change which we find ourselves in right now with rapidly surging global inflation the cost of living rising energy, gas and food bills all soaring, it's once again an important reminder that you can't just rely on one income stream. If your goal is financial freedom, then you need to start building multiple streams of income. The importance of having an essential income generating skill like trading is no longer a luxury. It's now a must have necessity. In the words of Warren Buffett, the best investment you can make is in yourself. You can never lose when you invest in yourself and when you invest in new skills. If you want to upgrade your income, then you need to upgrade your skills and there's no better skill than trading. If you want to maximize your money making potential and thrive, not just survive in these highly macro driven markets, then you need to adapt your strategy so that you can grow your income to massive levels. If you want to gain the ultimate edge to supercharge your wealth in these highly profitable markets, then you need to trade like the hedge funds, the money managers, institutions utilizing a professional research driven approach having access to the right data at the right time it is the single greatest difference between ordinary and extraordinary results the greater your data and intelligence the greater your edge in navigating these fast moving markets with precision accuracy and the highest levels of profitability uh, trading like every other misguided retail trader out there using outdated technical analysis and gimmicky technical indicators that will not work we're no longer in the 1980s we're in 2022 the age of data every industry right now including the trading and investment landscape is being disrupted by data and in this day and age if all you're doing is relying on outdated 
sophisticated technical analysis and gimmicky technical indicators, you're guaranteed to get crushed and chopped up in these markets when every other well-informed and well-educated trader out there is creating life-changing wealth. If you want to change your results, then you have to change your thinking. Never underestimate what you can achieve in the next few months from now with the right skills, knowledge and mentorship. Time is the most valuable commodity that we have. Make sure that you don't waste it. If you want to join our community of successful traders and take your trading to the next level, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You get access to real-time trade ideas, access to institutional research and market intelligence, access to our private members academy website and also support and once one mentoring for more information just go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com the link is also below this report in the description so just click on the link make an application and we will of course get in touch with you asap